Government has initiated its Operation All In in Jammu and Kashmir, where the army wants to give peace a chance and allow the misguided youth to return to the mainstream. Under this, the parents of these terrorists are being requested to discourage the youth to return to jungles in order to stop wasting their lives. Former President Pranam Mukherjee's daughter and Congress leader Sharmista Mukherjee has asked her father to reconsider his decision to attend the RSS event in Nagpur. She said that by agreeing to attend the event, he is giving the BJP and the RSS a chance to plant false stories. Pranam Mukherjee is set to address a program of the RSS as the chief guest today. The HD Kumar Swami Ministry in Karnataka has finally expanded with the induction of 25 ministers. 14 ministers are from the Congress, 9 from its ruling coalition partner JDS and 1 each from the BSP and the KPJP. With this, the strength of Kumar Swami's ministry has gone up to 27, leaving 7 more vacancies to be filled. BJP boss Amit Shah started work on his Sampark for Samarthan campaign starting with Shiv Sena chief Uddhav Thakre in Mumbai last evening. In an over-hour-long one-on-one meeting, Thakre is said to have flagged many questions and complaints, including the lack of the NDA coordination meeting. In a relief to Indian techies, the US Deputy Chief of Mission has said that there have been no big changes in the H-1B program and importantly, nothing new on the H-4 visa policy amid the Donald Trump administration's plan to overhaul the immigration system. A popular Gurudwara, Guru Nanak, Niskam, Sevak Jatha and a mosque, Jamia Masjid Abu Huraira were set on fire in arson attacks at the same time in English city of Leeds. The police is of the belief that these premises were specifically targeted as places of worship and hence treating them as hate crimes. A mentally ill man from Rajasthan who had been missing from the state's Bundi district since five years has been chased to a Pakistan's Karachi jail. After getting the information, captive Jugraj Bhil's family has sought government's help to rescue him. Air India, which failed to get even a single bidder for its disinvestment plan, is said to have delayed payment of salaries to its employees for the third consecutive month. In nearly two decades, this is the second time that Air India's stake sale has failed to take off. In a shocking move 10 months ahead of the ICC World Cup 2019, Mike Hessen has resigned as the New Zealand coach and will step aside from his role on July 31. New Zealand soared to world's top rank in T20 cricket, ranked as high as second for one-day internationals and third for tests during his tenure. US President Donald Trump's attorney Rudy Gilani in a head-turning statement has said that North Korea's Kim Jong-un got on his hands and knees and begged American diplomats to reinstate a planned meeting with Trump after it was cancelled last month. He added that Trump's cancellation of the meeting, which is now back on for the planned date of June 12, forced the North Korean leader into a favourable position.